Proving your right to work in the UK can be done in two ways. One is providing your documents to the company or to your employer and two is by providing your share code. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys how to do both. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chine Merim. If it's your first time here, hello, you are most welcome. Please do well to like this video, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, you are amazing. Thank you for coming back. So like I said, I'm going to tell you guys how to prove your right to work in the UK. First of all, by telling you the documents you would need. Secondly, is by showing you how to provide your share code to your employer so they can do the necessary checks and be sure you are here to work legally. No employer will employ you in the UK if you don't give them enough proof that you are legal and you can work legally. So most employers, except if you're going to go to those employers that do, you know, backhand kind of um, employment and backhand kind of job. If not, every, every employer would normally request for your rights to work documents and your share code before you can start working in the uk so first of all i will start with the documents you need the first document you would need to work is your passport so when i say passport i don't mean your passport photo i mean your international passport or your british passport if you are a british citizen you need your british passport and if you are here on a permit whether study or work you would need your international passport you may need your permanent residence card if you are a citizen or if you are a family member of a national of an EEA country or Switzerland. You may also need a national identity card. You may also need a registration certificate if you are a national of EEA or Switzerland again. You would need your, perm your biometric residence permit. Any other immigration status document that you have, which is being issued by the Home Office, um, you can also use that to prove your right to work to your employer. Your certificate of registration or naturalization may also be needed. Some employers will also ask you for proof of address that is not later than three months old. And the proof of address you may submit may be your gas bills, electricity bills, water bills, or even your bank statements or your proof of right to vote in the UK. These are some of the documents you may give to your employer. Basically, these are the documents you would need to show to your employer. So in general, for those that are here on a limited stay, maybe as a student or as a worker, the most important documents you will need to show your employer is your BRP, your passport, and sometimes they may ask for your proof of address. If you are sending the documents to your employer or to your prospective employer, you will normally send the, the data page of your passport and then a copy of other documents they've asked of you. And if you are giving it to them, if you're going to them to give it to them, you should make a photocopy of them. You should never give them your original document. Some may also ask you for birth certificate, but it depends. So you should never give them original copy. You should always give them a photocopy of this document. You can get a share code online. You can give this code to your employer and they will check your right to work in the UK. So this share code gives your employer an idea on the kind of job you can do and how long you are allowed to work in the UK for. To get your share code online, you would need either of these, your biometric residence permit or your biometric residence card or your passport or ID card. For you to get your share code, please watch the few minutes demo I will do here to show you how to get your share code. This share code is what you will give to your employer to check your right to work in the UK. So in this few minutes, I'll just show you how to get your share code. Just go on google.com and search get share code UK. You would see all of that. Then you can read all of this, view and prove your immigration status, get a share code. So this service is not just for getting a share code, but you can also use it to do other things like updating your details in your UK visas and immigration account and, you know, um, changing your number or finding out the kind of benefits you are allowed or entitled to in the UK. And who can use this service? You can only use this service if you have a UKVI account. And you normally have a UKVI account if you apply to the EU settlement scheme. And if you apply for a visa and use the UK immigration ID check app. Do you get these are people that can use this service? But if you do not have a UKVI account, these are what you these are the things you would need. Details of your passport, which I've already mentioned before. 
yeah and your date of birth and, and access to a mobile number or email address these are the things you would need so we can click on start now and then they will ask what identity document did you use in your application so we'll say passport you can say passport or you can say brp anyone that you used or you want to use in your application you can say that one but i chose brp for this but um, i don't intend to put my brp number here and we may not be we may not be able to progress but let's continue so i'll just show you guys how you can do this but just put your real brp number at this point so i'm just going to type this imaginary number i'll be this number that i saw on the screen or that i'm seeing on the screen now and it is asking my date of birth i'm just going to put a wrong date of birth as well this is just giving you an idea of what you should do then when i go to continue it will say the details do not ma don't match their records because the details are wrong so when you're doing this try and put your correct your correct details once you do it will direct you all right and you are good to go and that's that on how you can get your share code if you put the right details the next page will now be your share code will be given to you and you can send this to your employer now for your employer to check your right to work in the uk they will ask you for your date of birth and your share code so you should provide your employer with your date of birth and your share code so that they would check your right to work even though you know you are here to work legally and you can work legally employers would also want to check on their own it is their statutory right to check on their own that you are actually you actually have the rights to work in the uk don't tell them okay yes i've got my brp yes i can work in the uk i have the right to work in the uk even when you've shown them all this evidence they still want to make sure on their own part that you are you have the right to work so but then they can also check your documents if you don't have a share code or you can't get a share code your employer can decide to check your documents and the documents they will check are the ones i already mentioned so you guys i hope this video helps yeah so this is how to check your right to work and this is how your employer will check if you are if you have the right to work in the uk and other things in between i hope this video helps and that's the end of this video until i see you again in the next one don't forget to like this video share and subscribe to my channel if you want more tips or more videos on settling in the uk also you can let me know the kind of videos you want or if you have any question please ask in the comment section or you have any idea for me please leave them in the comment section and of course i'll get back to you as soon as possible and that's that for today until i see you again in my next video do take care stay safe and bye